a very bright sunny morning and I'm in a sea of vehicles you can clearly make out from my backdrop. So today, uh, clearly I've given away the fact that it's going to be a heavy duty truck that we are going to test drive on road check with CV. Now, uh, we are at the Tata Motors warehouse far off from the Thana Bhiwandi stretch and uh, uh, clearly Signa signifies the leap that Tata Motors has taken uh, in its journey. Now, Signa uh, has been around for quite some time and it was in fact in 2016 when the company first showcased Signa, which is an uh, which is a takeoff from the legacy models, the LPT, the uh, LPS and the LPK. So those legacy models got a facelift uh, and a lot of technical changes in terms of very strong aggregates uh, with the showstopper obviously being the cabin of the Sigma. Signa. So today we have one such model from the heavy duty range. I will not reveal that as of now till I get hold of my vehicle. But uh, be rest assured it's going to be one heck of a ride on Road Check with CV's latest episode. So we are on road check with CV, uh, we have the 3530 TK, so far we have driven the vehicle and the responses and the feel of the vehicle are a stark contrast to the earlier generation of Signas. This is a beautiful vehicle and it's a big vehicle, so let's uh, start with the front fascia. If you come closer over here, let's start with the, uh, the whole front fascia is not far different from the days of the uh, LPTs and the LPKs and the LPS for that matter, but the aggregates are more premium the vehicle is far more heavy duty uh, and in keeping with the modern day times uh, this is the honeycomb uh, mesh uh, that brings the gush of air to the engine you can access the ac from this you have the grab handles to wipe the windshield the additional mirrors now almost a signature inclusion in the new range of tata vehicles you have the orvms which are giving you not only the top angle but the rear angle and the bottom angle even this one gives you the bottom angle right uh, at the nose of the vehicle which is quite a good inclusion in uh, uh, vehicles that are running bumper to bumper or when you are passing a, uh, almost uh, trying to uh, park against an obstruction. Then you have the stop lamps at the uh, top itself. Uh, coming to the uh, headlamp cluster over here you have the clear lens lamps over here and you have the corner plus turn indicator lamp fitted into this nice three piece composite, uh, a nice three piece metal bumper. Uh, these rivets allow easy access uh, in terms of repair and maintenance and this of course is very high quality uh, composite plastic there of course you have the the tata badge now let's come to the side of the vehicle the first uh, thing that draws our attention is uh, these foot pegs or the, the the ladder which carries on from the earlier generation of signa but because the, the ground clearance is so high uh, it really gives you a feel of climbing onto the uh, cli climbing a mountain. So that's the kind of trek feel that you get. But because of the grab handles, uh, the ingress and egress is very, very simple. Perhaps they could have been a little wider. Uh, during egress, you feel the need that there should be some additional support, but that is a very, very small niggle and can be ignored. These uh, uh, gills allow uh, nice aerodynamics. Uh, it's an inclusion to reduce the on-road uh, resistance to air. Look at these tyres, these are the jetway tyres. Uh, this is 20, uh, 20 inch radials fitted onto the truck and uh, it also gives you a nice sneak peek into the robust high quality uh, steel frame which has long members and then you have the cross members that have been very strongly 
uh, riveted or bolted onto the main frame at some places you will see uh, bolts like arrangements like these where you can spot the u bolt uh, which allows access to the long and the cross members then of course you have the snorkel that guides all the air into for uh, better thermal management and then the air filtration and so on uh, looking at the the tipper body itself a very robust arrangement that can be operated from the driver cockpit it's a 23 cubic meter tipper body and made of really high quality then of course you have the the fenders which again are of solid material if you come at the side tata sourcing batteries from its uh, sister concern tata batteries itself so now uh, these are pretty standard and uh, quite visible across the mnhcv range of tata motors you have the spare wheels this is an 8 by 4 of course so you have uh, four driven axles this arrangement over here is the bogey suspension so at the front you have a parabolic uh, then you have a high forged beam i with the reverse Elliott type and then you have the bogey suspension or the ultra max at the rear coming to the rear led lamps with your in that tail lamp cluster and a nice protection grill over here uh, there was a nice uh, protection at the nose of the vehicle also so whenever the vehicle goes down or climbs an ascent uh, any chance of a rubble hitting the vehicle interiors or the underbody is protected from that uh, front guard so you have the underbar uh, crash guards also and if you come at this side you have the access to the df and the entire uh, uh, fuel tank so this is a a 300 liter fuel tank made of high quality polyurethane material and then of course the the cummins def tank which is a standard inclusion in the bs6 era it's a, a 60 liter tank all in all very very robust aggregates this is again a thermal diffusion chamber so uh, any any chance of the gases being extremely hot after the exhaust they come out from the exhaust are cooled by this thermal diffusion chamber now to give you a glimpse of how it feels like to go into the cabin of the Cigna 3530K which is going to be perhaps the most exciting part of the video for you as a viewer but it's going to take some strength for me from me to climb onto it a 3530TK this is also with a nomenclature TK SRT which I have been told that is yet to arrive in the market but just have a look and feel of what the driver cockpit looks at it makes you say it compels you to say that the driver is no longer the driver uh, the driver is now a pilot and that's the feel that you have in this cockpit. It's a, got a lovely shape. Uh, it's got very premium materials and you can see blowers doting the entire dash. And uh, if I can get you to look at these set of buttons, just, buttons, just look at these buttons. So I was having a nice chat with our uh, uh, co-pilot and he said how the uh, dependence of drivers has reduced from this humble gear stick to now on these buttons so imagine if you are on a, a steep incline or a decline rather than struggling with your brake rather than struggling with your gear shift you are now just using these dedicated modes whether it is the fuel economy mode whether it is the incline decline heavy load terrain all of these modes have been given to the driver including the engine brake and uh, suppose you are fully laden and you're going downhill instead of struggling with the brake and risking we've been hearing a lot of incidents where the brakes have given up given way so just imagine putting on the engine brake and going in a steady uh, uh, steady speed to negotiate that decline so those are the kind of features that we are talking about the steering wheel is a nice three spoke steering wheel and i can tell you from personal experience having driven the 2016 signa this is a huge huge uh, up from what we've seen before so those the thin uh, typical tata steering the two spoke steering has given way to this modern steering that is far more easier and uh, firm to grip let's start the vehicle without wasting time so you see the instrument cluster has come to life i just press my clutch and you hear the roar of the cummins 6.7 liter engine that is 6700 cc engine there for you now the old signas had the 5.9 liter engine this is the 6.7 liter engine let's try and spin this vehicle around uh, it's a beautiful weather lovely rain and we are going to try and enjoy the rain from inside the day cabin of the Cigna
So we are here enjoying the drive of the 3530 and I am really having a ball of a time. Uh, the turning radius allows me to very comfortably uh, use this circumference of the, the ground that we are testing the truck on. Very, very easy and light on the shoulders. There is clearly little to no sign of fatigue. And I, I can uh, assure you that the drivers will have a, a gala time driving this. No wonder uh, they have taken to the truck. So, it's, it's uh, a rough terrain over here. But despite that, the suspensions of the truck are handling it quite well. I am in an unlaid state as of now. But uh, nevertheless, the drive ability of the truck is very, very evident over here. As you can see, after BS6, the instrument clusters have also evolved. Now, on the left hand side, you see these analog dials, that's the tachometer. Then you have the temperature gauge, which gauges the temperature of the engine. In the center, you have a digital console. Now, this gives you details like the Odo. Now, this particular truck has done about 2600 odd kilometers. Then it gives you two trip modes, trip A and trip B. So, you can clearly get the distance between the two trips. Then you have the uh, air pressure gauge, you have the, the fuel gauge, you have the def tank gauge, so clearly on your right hand side you can see the def tank gauge also being showcased over there, if there is any, uh, uh, if it goes below the threshold it alerts the driver. Then you see the average fuel economy which is about 4.7 kilometers per liter, you can also see I am in the neutral mode as of now because the, the truck is stationary and then of course we are in the heavy mode which is the de facto mode whenever you turn on the ignition for the truck it has the light mode it has the medium mode also on the right hand side you can see the rpm and then you have the fuel uh, gauge in the lower dial so all in all a very information packed instrument cluster that has a lot more when you shift the modes and uh, a terminology that the drivers are now accustomed to to be able to uh, ensure that the truck doesn't go into the limp mode So that was the drive of the 3530TK, we have driven it on flat terrains, we have driven it on tough terrains and the vehicle adapts itself to the terrain it is flying on. So it has been overall a fantastic experience, hope you enjoyed it as much as we did on Road Check with CV.